today is four days of seven days retreat march 8 2023 tatagada meditation center san jose i would like to talk about the basis of satipatthana practice The Buddha enumerates seven benefits to be gained by undertaking the Satipatthana practice. Satana Visodhya, Soga Bari Devana Samadekamaya. Dukkha Domana Sana Atinga Maya Nyayasa Adhika Maya Nibbana Sa Saji Kiriyaya Satipatthana Sutta The practice of Satipatthana leads to the purification of mind, overcoming Sorrow and limitation, a complete destruction of physical pain and mental distress. Entering the right path and the attainment of liberation, Nibbana. Foremost amongst these benefits is the purification of the mind. You must know the benefits of the Satipatthana practice before you begin the practice. If you are already in the habit of the Satipatthana meditation, knowing these benefits would serve as an encouragement to practice with faith, confidence, and diligent effort. Purification of the mind. The Buddha enumerates the Satipatthana practice as the only way to purify the mind. Sadhana Visodhya. Practicing diligently Adabi mindfulness sati continuous from one moment to the next, and there is no room for defilements to arise in the spring of consciousness. If there are gaps in one's mindfulness on the primary object, ignorance, loss and aversion may take root. So it is necessary that the yogis exhort effort by indirecting the naughty mind to the primary object so that uh, the mind's attention reaches the object without delay. Noting with, noting with aim and effort, mindfulness defiles all presently arising objects, arising objects, the arising and the falling of the abdomen, each in sensations, hardness, softness, 
roughness, cohesion, fluidity, heat, warmth, coolness, uh, lightness, another stiffness, and tension, and movement. As well as seeing, hearing, and tasting, touching, bending, and turning, stretching, opening and closing of the eyes, blinking of the lashes, and so forth. Must be noted with aim and effort from one moment to the next. When the noting mind falls, come and collect it on the object. There is no restlessness. No restlessness. O teacher, the mind is not distracted. As there is a gap between the noting mind and the object. The mind is a free from worry, kokosa, lust, or sensual pleasure, kamisanda, abhashin, biabada, dab, visikesa, or delusion, moha. As the mind is aligned with the, with the pre presently arising object. Note the present, presently arising objects diligently. The mind is free from laziness, aiming and directing the mind to the object is Vitaka. The, the opposite is a slot and troba tina meta. When Vitaka is a present, the mind is open and fresh. There is no room for unwholesome thoughts to arise. Momentary concentration, Kandika Samadhi, develops with moment-to-moment -moment awareness. And the mind remains calm and collected from one moment to the next. If there is an absence of mindfulness, defilements may arise and the mind can become agitated, distracted, or scattered with the presence of a concentration, the mind is calm, collected, and unified, and defilements are kept at bay. With the mindfulness, there is protection are recognized in Pali. From divine means and absence of unwholesome mental states, each moment of mindfulness guards against the last, last ragat, aversion, dosa, and delusion, moha. It may not be possible to purify the mind completely and fully at once. But with the moment-to-moment -moment mindfulness, the mind reminds the pure and cleansed of defilements, both from forms of impurities, the ordinary form of impurity, Commandary anger 
and the string form of the impurity. For example, continuing an uncontrolled anger can be overcome by the practice of a satipatthana. Can be overcome by the practice of satipatthana. Having the opportunity to meet with the virtuous friends, virtuous friend, Kalayana Maida, Kalayana Maida in Pali. One needs to be in down with the five fetters to attain supramundane knowledge. To attain supramundane knowledge. Firstly, one must have faith and confidence in the Buddha, confidence in the Dhamma and the Sati Prana practice. Secondly, one must be in sound health or good health, be able to eat normally, have good digestion, and be able to sleep. Thirdly, one must be honest, not hide one's weakness or shortcomings in contact and in the practice. Be honest with a bit force when reporting one's meditation to the teacher, not to predict success when one hasn't realized any benefits or progressed. The fourth feather is a diligent, diligent practice to exert diligent, diligent effort towards developing mindfulness to an outstanding and steadfast quality. Last one, finally, one must be in downward knowledge into the arising and passing away of objects. If you are in downward these qualities, you can attain supramundane knowledge in this very life. In this very life. The term Satipadana is generally rendered as the full foundation of mindfulness. Its meaning can be revealed by compartmentalizing the what into its constituent parts and examining the elements, both individually and in combination Sati and Patana or Ubatana. Sati as a mental feather signifies present of the mind, attention to the present awareness, wakefulness and Heedfulness. Patana or Ubatana means a close, firm, and steadfast establishment, obligation. That mindfulness is firmly established on the object. In the term, Patana, Pat means outstanding. It is not just ordinary mindfulness, but of an outstanding quality. It, it must be intensive and persistent. When the object rises, 
mindfulness rushes to the object in great moment with the courage and immediate awareness of the object. This must be done without hesitation, thinking, reflection, or analyzing. There must be a firm grasping or season of the object and the noting and observing mind must cover the object of observation completely, spreading over the enter, entire body, uh, sorry, entire object. Grasping it in its entirety. The object should be noted from the beginning through its middle to its end. In practice, this means to continuously note and observe the arising objects. One moment of mindfulness should be connected to the next, moment to moment. The noting and observing or mindfulness of the, of the objects should not have guess but be continuous immediately when the object rises with the effort and aim, the mind's observing power must be directed to the object. Knowing the benefits of the Satipurana practice, exerting the three forms of effort, initial, sustained, and fulfilling obligation of Atabi effort. One is able to develop a strong and steadfast mindfulness and concentration. To develop knowledge into mind, nama, and meta, rupa, and progress, in insight and knowledge stage by stage towards enlightenment. The Buddha not only made a reference to Sati, but also to Sati Prana, a new is repeated. A new is repeated. Pasana is observation. A new persona is repeatedly and closely observ observing the four phases of uh, observation. The, the presently arising body, kaya, feeling, virana, mind, chaita, and mind objects, dhammas, so that the mind becomes pure. In the same way that it is difficult to calculate the number of steps involved in climbing a mountain, it is not possible to specify the number of times one must observe in this manner. What is required is a con striving in the practice. What is required is continue to striving in the practice to keep on going, to keep on going. One who knows the benefits of the Siddhi Prana practice will make the requisite effort to respect, um, repeatedly observe the object. 
repeatedly observe the object so that is a deep develops the aim of the practice is a purification of the mind to weaken mental defilements kilesa to block their arising and to develop wholesome mind states When loading is continuous, even if one sees an attracted object, the mind will quickly return to the present objects. Thus, the distraction is only fleeting. This is the power of the Satipatthana. and impure mind generates cause behavior and impure mind generates cause behavior one becomes gender and lovable one becomes gender and lovable when the mind is pure keen on developing a wholesome and pure mind one automatically becomes respectful towards the brightest developing more shame and more fear towards the the arising of kilesa Yogis must observe the full phase of observation, body, kaya, feelings, virana, mind, chaita, and mind object, dhammas, repeatedly, closely, with penetrated discernment. Four feats of observation, kaya, virana, chaita, dhamma, kai, kaya, nubaj, si, viharati, atabi, samba, jano, satima, viniya, logi, beja, dominasa, virana, si, virana, nubaj, si, viharati, atabi, samba, jano, satima, viniya, logi, beja, dominasa, Chaiti Chaita Nubasi Viradi Adabi Samba Jano Satima Viniya Logi Beja Domnasa Dhammi Su Dhamma Nubasi Viradi Adabi Samba Jano Satima Viniya Logi Beja Domnasa Satipatthana Sutta Observe the bodily action and department Carefully and closely become aware of the sitting, standing up from the sitting posture. The, the fastening and unfastening of clothes, washing the body, becoming aware of all activities, attending to them slowly. Attending to them slowly. Whatever you whatever you do should be done with mindfulness. Most important mindfulness, that is a deep. In the rising and falling of the abdomen, rising is a level, although the experience is one of stiffness, tension, contraction, hardness, coolness softness or the sense of the being collected this experience cannot be separated although the air element wayota too is most prominent 
also present are hardness and softness in the hot element, but how we da do? Temperature in the heat element, they do da do, and the quality of a connected, connected net in the water element, abo da do. As well as color, wona, sme, ganda, taste, rada, rasa, and nutriment, ocha. Pali in English. Wona, ganda, rasa, ocha. Attack a lot. Mm. Close and repeated observation of a bodily antibodies. Sitting, standing, bending, stretching, moving, and lying down is a kaya nubasna in rising. The error rising is a kaya and observing it is a kaya nubasana. Observing the stiffness, heat, contraction, hardness, or coolness. The corridor of the four elements is also kaya nubasana. The physical acts of the four pushers are kaya, and their observation is a kaya nubasana. Rising is due to a cause. Breathing in and falling is due to a cause. Is healing. One takes an in-breath in because one intends to do so. There is an intention to inhale, and one intends to exhale. So falling of the abdomen occurs. Falling of the abdomen occurs as one breathes out. In rising, there are many units of the stiffness, many units of stiffness and tension, and repeated observation of the, this is a new persona. Rising comprises many as of the rising, Occurring one after another. It is like observing a line of ants crawling across the road from afar. The line appears started, but looking closer, there is a vibration and moving even closer. The line is actually individual ants. One and following another, 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 another. Mm. The concept of arising disappears when the individual rises or the stiffness or tension of arising becomes apparent. Continuous noting is essential for this observation so that the mind sticks to every error rising and falling repeatedly and in time comes to see its true nature. In time comes to see its true, true nature. Repeated observation of the presently arising feelings, present, unpleasant, and neutral is a Buddha Nubasana.
observing the mind and the mind connected with greed or hatred or the scattered scattered mind odicha lova dosa odicha scattered mind it's a cheta nubasana cheta cheta nubasi we already repeatedly observing mind objects sensual desire kamechana doubt which is a resentment or version dosa pyabada or restlessness odicha is a dhamma nubasana hmm again repeatedly observing mind objects sensual desire doubt resentment or aversion or restlessness is called dhamma nubasana essentially the whole body and the mind are a feed of our observation from one moment to the next mere glancing at an object to see it fleetingly is not a nubasana what is required is repeated close observation or focus on the object the essence of a nubasana is a described by in the buddha thought the words adabi samba jano and sadima by in the buddha thought the words adabi samba jano and sadima developing the power of effort to repeatedly direct the mind onto the presently arising objects so that we come to know the true nature of the phenomena clearly distinctly and completely without ardent effort adabi vidya city won't develop and fall into develop collectedness of mind knowledge will not arise usually if an object cannot be seen with the naked eye we require the assistance of a magnifying glass or if the object is at a distance a telescopic view might assist here a panoramic view of a presently arising objects is possible with a repeated observation repeated observation so when rising occurs with the close observation we see the stiffness tension vibration and contraction and so on a new bazana requires ardent and brick effort not observation not observing in a casual relaxed or sluggish 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 manner casual relaxed or sluggish manner effort needs to be made to direct the mind's attention to the object so that the city sticks to the rising and falling immediately without delay without delay it is not enough that we note a single rising or a single falling repeated noting is required 
it is not to think or reflect on the object. Mm. Not to think or reflect on the object. What is going to arise or why it arises? But to directly and clearly pay attention to the rising and falling progress. When energy is repeatedly applied, it develops as a power becoming and deliver and strong and when when the energy gains a momentum once consciousness becomes free of unwholesome dhammas laziness is overcome and the mind is unconnected Unconnected to greed, love, anger, dosa, so there is a control over seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, and so on. With applying the effort to note every rising and falling, the moments of the effort are connected one after another. Purity of the mind is a deep lot, and each time other effort is applied, sadique sticks to the rising and the falling. There is protection from kilesa. There is protection from kilesa, defines as a steep blocks the rising of a kilesa so that they don't precipitate in the mind precipitate in the mind continued effort ensures that it desists to the rising and falling so the mind falls collected on the object not missing it or wandering after desire or resentment. The mind falling collected on the object is a concentration samadhi with a continuous noting momentary concentration kanika samadhi defile also over each rising and falling and one is free of the sexual desire and wanted to see good things, hear pleasant sounds or experience good taste. Plus, there is no feeling of resentment, doubt or restlessness in the mind. With every rising, the mind is directed to observing it and falls on the quality of the stiffness, tension, to thoroughly know its quality. There is no misperception in the observation. One knows correctly and this directly and clearly by applying effort repeatedly this continues continues to stick to the object falling come and collected bringing about knowing the nature of a rising objects rising objects this is a clear comprehension, Sambhajana. Clear comprehension, Sambhajana. One comes to know rising and falling completely and distinctly for oneself. When objects are seen distinctly and correctly for oneself, 
it becomes clear that the experience of stiffness is different from tension. The Buddha used the word Sambhachana to describe this knowledge to completely distantly, distantly and correctly, correctly know for oneself. A new basana is an ardent effort, adabi vidya, mindfulness, city, concentration, smarty, and wisdom, kaliya comprehension, kaliya comprehension. <clears throat> Kaliya Kumbriyanshin Panya. Adabi Vidya Siddhi Samadhi Panya. Vidya Siddhi Samadhi Panya. And its benefit is to know correctly, clearly, in order to see the true nature of phenomena. Whenever an object arises, effort is applied rapidly to observe it closely. There is a collectedness of the mind and one comes to know its nature distantly and accurately. What about mindfulness? Sati, the mind will be squared and without observing the object with aim and effort, there is no collectedness of mind in order, in order for knowledge to arise. So it is necessary to repeatedly and closely observe presently arising objects from one moment to the next to develop continuity of awareness, collectedness of mind, so that the direct knowledge knowledge can arise okay that is for today's that's all for today's mm. we will continue tomorrow may you be well and happy may you be able to practice meditation ardently and energetically then may you understand the Dhamma clearly and see things as they really are. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu.